Hello and a very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we're solving the exponential equation 3 to the power of x minus 2 by the square root of 3 all to the power of x minus 4 plus 77 is equal to 0. So maybe pause the video, give it a try and let me know how you got on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So let's get started. If we look across the equation, we can see that this combination can employ the power rule. So we're going to simplify it by writing 3 to the power of x minus 2. Now let's apply x onto both parties. So square root of 3 all to the power of x and the square root of 3 all to the power of 4 plus 77 is equal to 0. Now let's use the power rule and let's work out the two of these. Okay, so we have the square root of x can be written as 3 to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of x and square root of 3 can be written again as 3 to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of 4. Now let's multiply in and we will get 2 by 3 to the power of x over 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 as 4 by half is 2 plus 77. 3 to the power of 2 out to the front and we'll get 2 by 9 which is negative 18 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of x plus 77 is equal to 0. And this x can be multiplied in again. We can get a result of 3 to the power of x minus 18 by 3 to the power of x over 2 by applying the power rule once again. And here we can see that we can convert the 3 to the power of x into a square of that value by writing it as 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2 all to be squared. But we have this variable separated. We can assert that y is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2. Then we can substitute it in and we will have quadratic form. The negative 18 has a sum of minus 11 y and minus 7 y plus 77. Taking out the commonality y y y minus 11 minus 7 by y minus 11 and we obtain the two factors y minus 7 and y minus 11 is equal to 0. Now that we have two values for y as y is equal to 7 and y is equal to 11 let's recall that y is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2. So on the left hand side we will write 3 to the power of x over 2 instead of y and that will be equal to 7. Now let's apply a log to the base 3 of both sides. This will bring down the power. So we get log of 3 to the power of x over 2 is equal to log to the base 3 of 7. Now the x over 2, which was the power, is now equal to log to the base 3 of 7. And now let's multiply across by 2 and we get x is equal to 2 log to the base 3 of 7. And again, we can simplify further by bringing the power up here with the ratio to the coefficient now can now become the power we will get 
7 to the power of 2. Therefore, x is equal to log to the base 3 of 49. Now we're going to solve for case 2, where x is equal to plus 11. So we can say 11 is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2, replacing the y with x over 2. Let's apply a log to the base 3 of both sides, as the number with the exponent is 3. So we have 11 here, and we also have log to the base 3 of 3 to the power of x over 2. Now these are going to cancel, and then we will have x over 2. Now we're going to bring it across, put it in order, and equate x over 2 is equal to log to the base 3 of 11. Again, we're going to multiply across by the 2. And we will get 2 log to the base 3 of 11. Now we can bring this up as a power. We can write x is equal to log to the base 3 of 11 to the power of 2. And we know that that is 121. And finally, our answers for the challenging exponential equation are x is equal to log to the base 3 of 49 and x is equal to log to the base 3 of 121. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and see you again very soon with the next video.